Hey guys, it's Black Vegito sending me here today, and we're going to be talking about Sonic the Hedgehog and my history with Sonic the Hedgehog, and there's a lot, this is going to be a pretty long video, and I'm so happy because, um, like, I say, like, 23rd, 23rd, um, like, uh, June 23rd was Sonic's birthday, I believe, and, sorry, but guess what, coincidence? I think not, 25th. Today is the 25th, June 25th, and this is 25th of Sonic the Hedgehog, so, yeah, let's go ahead and, and do it. Let's rock on. So, I'm not really uh, ashamed to say that Sonic 06 was one, one of the first games I ever played, along with Crash Bandicoot, which was the first game I ever played. You bet your butt that I'm getting the remasters for PS4. And, um, what is it, um, GTA 4. But, but we'll talk about those games a little bit later. I love that game. The graphics were amazing to me, and I just loved it. I used to play it everywhere. And my uncle, my uncle helped me. Uh, uh, what was it? My uncle. What was it? My uncle helped me with uh, Wave Ocean get to the end because of the Mox Beach section. Freaking hate those still today. Um, and uh, yeah, my uncle helped me and. He got me to winter level, which I just absolutely love. Love, I love Shadow, but back then, you know, Sonic was my favorite character. So, we moved, and uh, I, I got to play the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and I loved that game. I had no one to play with me because my mom was incredibly sick, and she still is today. And, um, you know, my grandmother was sick, she still is, and my uncle, he had school all the way to 11 o'clock. I don't even know what they was doing there, but he had school, like, them long, long schools. It really made me really, really frustrated. I didn't know what to do at that time. I just kept playing, and it got bored. Plus, it was the struggle. We never really had that much money, but we have a lot of money now. So, the other Sonic game was... It was... Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed was well, was a fun, fun game. I found it at Wa at a Walmart, and I had to go pick it up. It was for the Wii because I had one at the time, and I never really had that much games. I had it, and it was pretty fun. Um, the final boss was hard. It took me a year to beat it, but I finally beat it. Then uh, Kobana ninety four five six. Um, when I found YouTube, it was my uh, one of my first Sonic. Uh, plus players, and let me tell you, oh my god, if it wasn't for him, if, if it wasn't for that Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play, I wouldn't have got the game. So, my mom saw me play the time trial of, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, and I, I played that. I played City Escape. I know the entire level by heart. I know, I know almost some of uh, the lyrics of City Escape. I love that song, by the way. And, um... So yeah, um, so uh, yeah, um, I was watching Kobana 9456 Let's Play, and uh, my mom walked in, you know, she was watching it for a while, and uh, she said, you want this game? She's, she said, how much was it? And uh, she, I said, tw uh, 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 ten dollars, and she said, uh, said, um, alright, I'll buy it for you on the 5th, and uh, on the 5th. She got it for me and some nice, good egg rolls and food, Chinese food, you know. And um, I was really, really happy. I was happy to get back home, eat my scallops and fries and all that other stuff while playing this game. And I was so happy. I had tons of fun. My favorite character was in there, Shadow the Hedgehog. And that's when I knew Shadow the Hedgehog was my favorite character. After that, i us say about four or five months, I had Sonic Adventure. And then I also had Sonic Adventure DX, and I still have those games today. Um, unfortunately, my PS3 got corrupted, and I lost all my data. But, guess what? Luck was on my side, because I can, like, easily get another day. But, um, so yeah. Uh, I had tons and tons of fun uh, playing Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Adventure 1. And then, I had enough money to buy... Sonic Colors, and let me tell you, Sonic Colors was extremely fun, and it was just amazing. Christmas hit, 
and like it was the struggle, struggle so I, I was happy to get a new game. And Christmas hit, and guess what? My mom's friends gave me Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection, and I loved them for it. Because, guess what? Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog 1. I was finally able to play that game for the first time, and it was amazing. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Of course, I was happy in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Now, it was this part where I was stuck on Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Angel Island Zone, because I didn't know how to do the spin dash. I found out how to do the spin dash by pure accident. <laughs> it was down and then hold A. I was like so frustrated but so happy. So I got to play a lot of the games. I never really beat none of the games, but I did beat like Sonic, like Sonic 3, I believe. Sonic, Sonic and Knuckles, I believe. I had tons of fun. But now I find out that they were Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and the game didn't allow me to fuse them. So I was a little bit mad, because I couldn't play as Hyper Sonic. I was really extremely mad, but that really didn't get to me. Then, I had Sonic Heroes, and Sonic Heroes was just so amazing. And it was just it was just amazing. I still love the, that game today. And it took me a long time to beat, but I still did. So, we moved out of the house, and, uh, guess Wow, I'm, I'm really, really uh, happy because um, I never really got no games at that house, but the other house, I did. You know, I had uh, um, had got tons and tons of games, you know, uh, uh, but I never really had that many Sonic games, you know. So uh, that leads us to the house that I'm in right now, and um, I had a bunch. I, had, I, had, I bought Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and then Sonic the Fighters, Sonic CD, and they're all on my Xbox. And um, also got to play Sonic R, and I 100% completed it in one day, and that was really really good. And um, yeah, had tons of fun. I would record it, but I can't because Dolphin Emulator is just so laggy. Also, I never really had the chance to get Gems Collection, but I am gonna get it like probably like like in a couple days. Uh, if I ace this test, I'm gonna get Gems Collection and Mega Collection, and Mega Collection Plus for my PS2. The reason why is because uh, it, has, it has more than the GameCube. But yeah. So yeah, then I decided to buy a Sega Genesis so I can have uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. That's what I really, really wanted, and um, I got it, but my mom made me sell it. To someone now, and it made me really, really mad, but it was no matter. Soon, I lost my uh, uh, what was it? Uh, I lost uh, my Sonic Heroes disc, and that made me really, really sad. But I was able to get Sonic Heroes on Xbox 360 and um, Shadow the Hedgehog too, and I was like, oh snap. And um, I had tons of fun. I never really, I never beat Shadow the Hedgehog because it was just so hard. But um, yeah. Then uh, what else? Um, have that, have that. Then emulators. I knew of emulators, and I was just so happy that I knew that I was able to uh, play all these different other games, like the uh, Game Gear version of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and uh, other versions like Sonic Chaos and Sonic Triple Trouble and uh, Sonic. Uh, in Tails Control, like Skylift and Tails Adventures, I was able to play that on um, the Dolphin emulator. And this can laptop ain't a really beefy one. It ain't really really good. It can't, it barely can run Dolphin emulator. But let me tell you, this game can really, really run Sonic R like so fast that it's just too fast. So yeah. So yeah, that's basically all the Sonic games that I actually have, and um, yeah, I have actually a lot. That that's actually a majority. I have Sonic the Hedgehog one, Sonic the Hedgehog two, Sonic the Hedgehog three and Knuckles, Sonic CD. Uh, uh, what else? Um, Sonic CD, Sonic Colors, Sonic Unleashed. Um, uh, what else? Um. 
Sonic the Fighters and uh, Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, and um, Sonic 06. Yep. Funny uh, thing I got for PS3 because comment the review. I'm like, is that game really, really that bad? Decide go buy it. Ten dollars. Really good deal. My, uh, my grandmother bought it for me, so thank you. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And um, I have yet to get Sonic Lost World. Oh, and also, also I forgot about that. Um, it was one one night, I believe it was. Uh, Sonic Generations came out and I was like so sad because I never got it. I got it like four days after it came out and I beat it in two and a half days. Yeah, two and a freaking half days. I be I beat it. So yeah, low side game and uh oh yeah and recently I just got Sonic Riders and Sonic uh Zero uh Riders Zero Gravity and uh I beat. Sonic Riders, 100% complete, the original Sonic Riders, on GameCube, the original, and where's the chart of the games, cause, cause, so, so, so you won't think it's zero gravity, it ain't zero gravity, it's the original, the original Sonic Riders, this one right here, this one right here, hey, hold on, let me go back, this one right here, not this one, this one. I completed, 100% completed, got Super Sonic and all the characters, not all the boards, not yet. But I 100% completed the challenges in five days. And I was just super good. So, yeah. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. And, um, yeah. So yeah, I have Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic uh, 3 and Knuckles, um, Sonic Riders, Sonic Zero Gravity Riders, or Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, Sonic CD, Sonic the Fighters, Sonic Colors, Sonic Unleash, Sonic Generations, and uh, Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic uh, DX, Sonic Adventure 2, and uh, Sonic Ultimate Gems Collection, and um, yeah, I have um, a lot of games. That That's basically mainstream games. And uh, if I ace this test, I have Sonic Gems Collection and Sonic uh, for PlayStation 2. Sonic Plus. Sonic, uh, uh, Sonic, Sonic Mega Collection Plus. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, time for the YouTube part. And the YouTube part is, uh, you know, where I found creepy posters of the Tails doll. Tails doll uh, still sucks. And then, uh, Sonic Dynasty, which is the scariest of, uh, you two. And, um, you really scared me back then because my room had, like, this porch, this dark porch, and, yeah, that was still scary. But, um, yeah. And, um, I also found, like, Sonic and Jaws and, like, Y and stuff like that. Sonic Y and, what was it? What was the other one? It was, um... Uh, the uh, stop motion ones. It was just me. I loved it. So yeah, that's basically my history with Sonic. Um, fun fact, did you know? Uh, Sonic Riders, the same people who made uh Sonic Riders opening intro, you know the original Sonic Riders opening intro, also made the intro opening for uh, Attack on Titan, which I think is really really dope. So yeah. Pretty dope. And, uh, yeah. So, see you guys later. Um, and, uh, happy birthday, Sonic. You've been with us for 25 years. And, uh, see you. See you later. And, uh, goodbye, mates. See you guys later.